Yo, it is your boy. Yo, it is your boy. Hailing all the way from North Kakalaki. Weighing 171 pounds. The charged up king himself. The one and only. The freight train. Not the freight train. Yes, I said freight train. Jay is back with another video, man. Thank y'all for stopping by. And today, what did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? A lot of people didn't listen to me, and a lot of people didn't watch my last video. But in my last video, didn't I tell y'all who Trump was? Didn't I tell Trump must be listening to me? Trump must be listening to me. Trump, if you listen to me, hey man, hey. Bring me up to the White House when you win, bro. Because Trump is going to win this just for the simple fact that he thought about us wrestling fans. Wrestling fans, stand up. Stand up right now. Because we had the greatest wrestling politician ever in the game of the wrestling business. And that is the most cunning, slick, loud mouth. Cry baby. Also, a racist. If you're a Hulk Hogan fan like me, it hurts to say this, but Hulk Hogan is a racist. I'm not a double standard type guy. I'm a racist to a point. What did he say? I'm a racist to a point. What? Hulk Hogan don't like men like me that like snow bunnies, bro. That is Hulk Hogan's problem. Hulk Hogan, all you have to do is just, is just, you know what I'm saying? Just be free. Don't feel offended that your daughter like BBC. That's just the way the ball rolls. But anyways, we got the main man, the myth, the legend himself, Hulk Hogan. And I did tell y'all, I told y'all on the last video, I told y'all. Hulk Hogan is the Donald Trump of politics. Or Donald Trump is the Hulk Hogan of the political world. Simple as that. And look what my man Trump did. He brought my guy Hulk Hogan. I told y'all that Vince McMahon, a.k.a. Joe freaking Biden, is going to go after Donald Trump. And that is exactly what they did on that failed assassination attempt. It did not work. And now Trump is back and Trump brought a legend out to the ring for us to enjoy. So we about to react to this video. I'm not trying to make it a super long winded video, but hey, man, I know y'all going to enjoy this. Let's watch my boy Hulk Hogan, huh? the real American pull up to the RNC and, uh, do a little promo for us. This is for the wrestling fans. I told y'all that wrestling is life. I said that politics is wrestling. I said anywhere in the world you can find wrestling. And look what just popped up on our freaking doorstep. Mr. Hulkamaniac himself. USA champs, we need him. We need the USA champs. It don't hurt. Okay, Hulk Hogan. He getting in his bag. Donald Trump brought Hulk Hogan. He brought Hulk Hogan to get in his bag, and now he in his bag. Get right. Terry, 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 Terry. That taunt don't work here right now. They're not cheering for you, bro. It would have been different if they was cheering for you. You can do that taunt. But they're not cheering for you on this one. I'm sorry. Don't do the taunt right now. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Are we going to see Hulk Hogan in any more of the WWE games after this? Y'all know. Y'all know how WWE feels about conservatives. Y'all know that they have liberal CM Punk there. So a lot of this stuff will not fly. I wonder if CM Punk's going to be like, if Hulk Hogan's in that game, I'm not going to be on it. How much I want to... I'm telling y'all. The next game, Hulk Hogan's not going to be on there. And that's for the simple fact that he endorsed Trump. That is some bull shit. 
You go take this man legacy and throw it out the window. Like Hulk Hogan didn't bring the WWF where it is today. Give my man Hulk Hogan this racist son of a b some damn credit. He's a real American. Y'all do y'all hear? Do y'all hear that theme song he comes out to? Doesn't that make you want to just rip up your shirt? This is Tommy Hill figure, a birthday gift. I can't. But if it wasn't, I will. Well, let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> there is no wrestling fans there. If I was in there, if I was in that mug, Hulk Hogan, you know you'd have been hearing me. Let me tell you something, brother. When Freight Train J, Donald Trump, and Hulk Hogan, and all the redneck Trump maniacs run wild on you, tell me, would you be calling me a coon? Will you be calling me an Uncle Tom after this? You know something? When I came here tonight, there was so much energy in this room. I felt maybe I was in Madison Square Garden getting ready to win another world title. Or maybe I thought. No, nigga. You at the RNC. The vibe was so intense. The energy was so crazy. It felt like maybe I was going to press that no good stinky giant over my head and slam him through the mat, brother. He's talking about Andre the Giant. How can you not love Hulk Hogan? How can you not love Hulk Hogan? I'm trying to give y'all the rundown of a real American, the American dream himself, the one and only Hulk freaking Hogan, and he's pouring his art out to this RNC crowd, and they just don't feel it like I do. They don't feel what I'm feeling. And then, and then shout out to Donald Trump. For bringing a wrestler out. He been bringing all these rappers and all this other stuff. Forget that. This is Freight Train J. And on this channel, we deal with wrestling, sir. And that right there is wrestling. But what I found out was I was in a room full of real Americans, brother. I'm sorry, but this is my guy. This just got me just like pumped. Look at... Uh, Nine inch pythons, the four inch pythons. Oh my god, this is just I'm feeling the urge to become an American. Cause right now, with all the stuff that's been going on for the past four years, I haven't felt like an American. Felt like a Ukrainian. Have any of you felt like a Ukrainian? No, but I have. I felt like I was in war. Why did I feel like I was in war? But right now, I feel like a real American. I feel like a, I feel like a proud picket, white picket fence with a freaking golden retriever American. You know what I'm saying? Dog, Hulk Hogan got me so hyped. After the trap, after the Trump assassination, and bro put up that fist, yo, it's been a whole different freight train, dog. Mind you. I don't have any political side, so you know, wink, wink. So please leave me. Do not try to cancel me. This is Hulk freaking Hogan. How can you be mad at Hulk freaking Hogan? You know what I'm saying? How could you be mad at me for giving you this information? I'm just giving you my honest reaction. You know, Chinese mugs won't let me date their daughter. We don't get on the Chinese people. You feel what I'm saying? An Indian showing up when I don't want an Indian girlfriend. I don't want an Indian girlfriend. An Indian would definitely. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to get like political, bro. But let's just let's just look at it from all different angles. But honestly, bro, Hulk Hogan's still the goat, bro. Is he not on the Mount Rushmore of wrestling? Can anyone tell me that Hulk Hogan's not on the Mount Rushmore of wrestling, bro? Is Hulk Hogan, it, it, does this make me an Uncle Tom that I like Hulk Hogan like this, bro? Does this make me an Uncle Tom? If that makes me an Uncle Tom for liking uh, uh, a freaking Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan and legend. We're here, baby. And at the end of the day, with our leader up there, my hero, that gladiator, we're going to bring a Look at Trump. Yeah, yeah. That's my guy, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> America back together. 
one real American at a time, brother. One real American. I am a real American. Fight for what's right for every man. I am a real American. Fight for what's right. Fight for your life. It's Hong Kong, you got me teed. Hong Kong, you got me teed. <laughs> Hulk Hogan got me T, yo. I ain't never been like this before. Hulk Hogan got me T, yo. I ain't never been like this before, dog. This is the equivalent of the Detroit Lions in their playoff run. This is how I'm feeling right now. Dog, it's lit. You know something? I've seen some great tag teams in my time. Hulk Hogan, huh? Ooh, yeah, the Macho Man Randy Savage. Nah, bro, I can't let you slide with that, Hulkster. I cannot let you slide with that Macho Man slander, bro. You didn't want him to be the main guy. You was politicking in the back. That's why I call you the best politicking. Because you were the best at it. You kissed Vince McMahon ass and made sure that, ooh, yeah, Macho Man wasn't going to be the guy on top because he knew, Hulk Hogan knew that Macho Man was more talented. Don't argue with me, but argue with the people who was Dallas back then. You can see the stories. They tell the stories. My uncle always tell me he was the best Hulk Hogan was the best politician. He knew Macho Man. Randy Savage was right there at his spot, and he could not let that happen. Just like Hulk Hogan does. But that's why he's the best. Why could I be mad at that? You know what I'm saying? Why could I be mad at Hulk Hogan for being the best? But you know something? I see the greatest tag team of my life standing upon us, getting ready to straighten this country out for all the real Americans. You know, even though you guys are real Americans, you better get ready. Because when Donald Dick J. Trump... Whoa, whoa, pause, pause. Did he just say Donald Dick Trump? You gay, Hulk. You gay. Stop hanging around Vince McMahon, yo. You get gay. ready. All right, watch this. Because when Donald Dick J. Trump this nigga gay, yo. This nigga gay. He just said dick. Ah, this man just said dick. Ah, did y'all not peep? The nigga just said dick. Ah, oh, this nigga gay. Ah, the nigga gay. Pause. Ah. United States. All the real Americans are gonna be nicknamed Trumpites because. Trumpites? I don't like that. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to be a Trumpite. I don't want to be a Trumpite anymore. Let me put back on my shirt. I don't want to support Trump. If our nicknames are gonna be Trump, uh, Trumpites, uh, I don't like that. Uh, uh, that just made me cringe. Ew. Uh, let's put this shirt back on, yo. Uh, I just feel exposed and naked now. Uh. Okay. Yeah. It was going good at first, but then he said Trump bites and me and Trump we we really Trump got that face like, uh, you know, you, you just calm it down a little bit, Hulkster. You know, he's a showman. Because all the Trumpites are going to be running wild for 4 years. Uh, we don't like So with the power of Donald J Trump and all the Trumpites running wild, America is going to get back on track. And like Donald J. Trump said, America is going to be great again. Ah, you're failing me. Oh, man, the Trump bites. I'm not with it, bruh. I'm not with it. You know, I, when I look out and I see all the real Americans, I think about how Donald Trump his family was compromised. When I look out there and I see Donald Trump, I think about how his business was compromised. 
But what happened last week when they took a shot at my hero? Don't get me charged up, Hulkster. Y'all see the watermelon Red Bull? Y'all see the watermelon Red Bull? Don't get me charged up, Hulkster. Let's get it! And they tried to kill the next president of the United States. Enough was enough. <laughs> and I said, let trump mania run wild, brother. Oh my God! Oh! 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 oh. Oh my god! I just got goosebumps. Oh, I. Oh my god! We gotta replay that. I just got goosebumps. I look out there and I see Donald Trump. I think about how his business was compromised. Right? His business? But what happened last week when they took a shot at my hero? But what happened last week? He is right. Last week, they did try a assassination on President Donald Trump, but it did not work. But we did react to that video. Go watch that video after this. When they took a shot at my hero. <sighs> and they tried to kill the next president of the United States. Enough. Was enough. And I said, Hulk up, brother! Hulk up, brother! Let Trump mania run wild! Let Trump mania make America great again! Ah, that's our war cry! That's all the roid rage! That's all the roid rage we can give you tonight! That is all the roid rage we can give you tonight! Talk to him, Hulk! Talk to him, Hulk! feel like I feel like Homelander you know I feel I feel empowered I wow yeah you know oh my gosh I I ain't never felt like this before but with four long years four long years we suffered with high rent prices four long years we suffered with high gas prices four long years we suffered for expensive goods for four long years. We suffered with immigration crisis for four long years. And we got Trump. And they tried to assassinate my homeboy. They tried to assassinate my dog Trump. And he said, I'm not going out without a fight. And if you haven't watched the last video, go watch the last video. Trump told the niggas. He told everybody, forget all that shit they talk about on the left. Forget all that stuff they talk about on the right. Talk about what Trump is talking about. And that is make America run wild and go great again, baby. Hey. Forget about all the wars, Ukraine, Russia, it ain't about y'all no more. This ain't about the political parties no more. Republican, Democrat, nah, I'm here for Trump. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. Yo, this just got me T. Shout out to Hulk Hogan. They gonna call me a coon after this. I do not care. They gonna call me an Uncle Tom after this. I do not care. Hulk Hogan. You just lit a fuse in my soul, man. You lit a freaking fuse in my soul. Everyone, if you're not voting, I don't care if you're voting for Donald Trump. I don't care if you're voting for Joe Biden. You go out there and you vote and you freaking vote. I'm going out there and I'm voting. Donald Trump has my freaking vote. Ever since the assassination attempt and bringing Hulk Hogan out and he brought Hulk freaking Hogan out to the stage and y'all gonna tell me that this is not the greatest 
This is not the greatest politician of all time bringing one of the greatest wrestlers out. Next, Trump, we need you to bring out Ric Flair. We need some woo chants out there. Oh, oh boy. Oh gosh, yo. I didn't think it was gonna be like this. I didn't expect this video to be like this. Once I seen the headline that Hulk Hogan was at the RNC, I said I had to react to this. Because y'all didn't believe me when I said Trump is Hulk Hogan and Hulk Hogan is Trump. I just wiped they slate clean. Call me what you want. I don't care. I'm not dating his daughter. I don't care if you don't like black guys dating his daughter. I don't care. I don't even know what to say after that, dog. I ain't gotta say much more. Y'all, get this video up to 10 likes. All the Trump and maniacs, go run wild on them ballots all them joe mcmahon's y'all go run wild on them ballots as well and also run wild on that like button not to mention comment down below is just tell me is freight train tripping or not or am i just or am i just just doing too much you know just let me know or or do i have the right to feel like this do i have the right to feel this energy imbued from the one and only Hulkamania, you know what I'm saying? So y'all let me know. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Like this video up. Get this video up to 10 likes. It is your boy, Bray Train J. And we out, y'all. Ah! Better not twerk on me. Uh, better not twerk on me. Uh, oh my God, that's a knockout. Oh my God, that's a knockout. Oh my God, that's a knockout. Okay, let's go and rock out. Okay, let's go and rock out. Uh.